Hello student, welcome to this session. I am Osan Naik from Canada Engineering College. In this session, we will discuss the multiplexer that is how to implement multiplexer by using VHDL. That is VHDL models for multiplexers. Student, we know what is a multiplexer. A multiplexer is an electronic device which has got M input and N control lines based on the control line combination one of the input is moved to the output or one of the input will be selected and moved to the output that is called as a multiplexer. Now uh, for example in this scenario you can see now we will see 2 is to 1 multiplexer so this is 2 is to 1 multiplexer where it contains two input lines that is I0 and I1 and one output line that is a F and a control line is A. Based on the control line combination, A can take either 0 or 1. When A is equal to 0, I0 will get selected. When A is equal to 1, I1 will get selected and moved to the output that is F is nothing but I1. So, Conditional signal assignment statement you can use to assign the value to the output variable f. You can see here conditional signal assignment statement that is f is assigned with i0 when a is equal to 0 else i1. That is here you can see in the diagram sorry in the expression a is assigned with the, when a is a is assigned with the value binary value 0 binary value 0 should be represented in uh, code here you can see else f will take the value i1 so this is the conditional signal assignment statement and expression for the conditional signal assignment statement is this is the expression for the conditional signal assignment that is signal name in our case it is f is assigned with the uh, expression either expression 1 when condition is equal to 1 else expression 2 when condition is equal to 2 else expression n. So we have one more assignment that is called as a with select we will see here that is with uh, select in with select f is assigned with the i0 when when select is based on the select value that is select is 0 0 f is assigned with i0 or i1 when the select is equal to 0 1 or i2 when the select is equal to uh, 1 0 or i3 when the select is equal to 1 1 here the select will take we have already defined here select is assigned with the value a and b and 2 bit will take 4 combination based on the 4 combination f is assigned with the i0, i1, i2, i3 now what is the difference between what is the difference between with the select and with the select and conditional signal assignment that is with select uh, uh, with select say, say signal or conditional signal assignment a conditional signal assignment is something called as uh, uh, it is it is type of cascading type or uh, sequential it is type of cascading type or sequential uh, but uh, uh, our uh, with select uh, is a type of uh, parallel execution with select is type of parallel execution so we have seen now uh, like the implementation, I mean uh, the uh, uh, signals related to uh, multiplexer implementation. Now you can see here uh, uh, the, the diagram of 4 is to 1 multiplexer. The 4 is to 1 multiplexer as contains two control signals A and B. Based on the combination of A and B, uh, F is assigned with I0, I1, I2, or uh, I3. F is assigned with the F is assigned with I0, I1, I2, I3. So, some other statements we can see. So, by using that statement also, we can implement multiplexer in VHDL.
this first one multiplexer can be implemented by using other type of statement shown here so by using this type of statement you can implement 4 is to 1 multiplexer or you can write the uh, statement else when by using like this also this is the syntax for writing uh, st statement using else when so these are the different ways now we will see how to implement 8 is to 1 multiplexer as a lab scenario Student, before going to the implementation of 8 is to 1 multi uh, multiplexer by using Xilinx software, we will see now first like uh, the coding part of 8 is to 1 multiplexer. This is the coding part of 8 is to 1 multiplexer. So here you can see the first uh, first few lines contains a library declaration. We are using IEEE and, uh, dot standard underscore logic underscore 1164 uh, dot all. Uh, this contains all the pay, all the uh, functions which is, which is required to implement our uh, this one implement our experiment so now uh, as usual this is the entity declaration you know this is the entity declaration so here you can see the entity declaration entity uh, followed by entity name and uh, four declaration in this case in the, in the four declaration i have taken uh, the control signal select it, uh, it is a type of input and uh, it is a data type of standard underscore logic underscore vector that is we are going to define array of a select signal with the msb 0 sorry lsb 0 and msb 2 that is total 3 bit that is select 0 select 1 select 2 similarly we are we have defined here d0 d1 d2 d3 d4 d5 d6 d7 are the input for the uh, as a input to our multiplexer 8 to 1 multiplexer and y is the output of type y is the output of type standard underscore logic so uh, uh, the entity should end with the uh, end statement and entity name followed by architecture so architecture should end with the end architecture name so here architecture name is uh, mux underscore 8, 8, 8, uh, 8, 8 underscore 1 of uh, entity multex is so in this case we are going to define the process statement so what is a process followed by case statement what is the process so we will see this one uh. student one of the characteristics of the process is uh, process statement is uh, the process should start with process and uh, like start with the begin and end with the end process here you can see end process and all the statement inside the process are executed serially so normally we have we know VHDL is a concurrent language it is not a sequential language but uh, the pro the statement inside the process uh, process are uh, executed sequentially so process is the primary concurrent vhdl statement uh, used to describe uh, sequential behavior so statement in process are executed uh, sequentially in zero time but if you if you write uh, if you write process uh, several process like this uh, then all those processes are executed concurrently please remember if you write several processes then all those processes are executed concurrently in the architecture but the statement inside the process are executed sequentially now here you can see process and begin with the case statement here depending on the first uh, depending on the uh, select variable one of the statements i am depending on the select variable one of the statement is executed in parallel one of the statement is executed in parallel so for example when the case value is select value is that is select variable value is 0 0 0 the y is assigned with the d0 otherwise when it is 0 0 1 the y is assigned with the d1 so uh, here the, uh, uh, the statements are executed parallelly depending on the uh, select in case of a case statement in case of a case statement case statement executes based on the evolution of select variable and select variable in our case is a 3 bit variable it can take value 
from 00 to 111 based on the value of the okay, this one select statement one of the statement will be executed so here process should end with end process and case should end with end case similarly architecture should end with the end and architecture name so this is the uh, explanation of code now we will move to uh, execution part by using a Xilinx software so student after installation of Xilinx depending on the version you will get an icon on your desktop so that is the IAC Xilinx IAC design suit so you have to tap the icon when you tap the icon project navigator window will open so this is the project navigator window you can see uh, you see here the project navigator window with the uh, uh, certain projects will get opened so if any projects are open then you have to close the project by clicking on uh, close project option so after that on the left top corner you have option called as file under that sub option new project you have to select new project option and select the uh, and type the name for the new project so in this case i will give that the name for the new project is uh, multiplex multiplex 8 underscore 1 and uh, meanwhile you can select the project location also and uh, hardware type also uh, sorry project location also depending depending on the project location uh, you can set the directory so after that click on next button so next button on doing so uh, it will open new project wizard in the new project wizard you will see the hardware information what we give to the software so that is our package is a FUGA is a Spartan 3E and it is a device uh, like a device is of type according to the manufacturer is a XC3S250E and package is according to manufacturer is FT256 so other than that we are using language VHDL to program the our uh, uh, FUGA chip so these are the project uh, uh, wizard details that is the device de 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 details click on next uh, next button and click on next and uh, on doing so you will see the details of uh, project summary so finish button click on finish button so students here you will see here you will see uh, the chip uh, the our hardware chip that is xc3c250 c uh, on above our project uh, this one project uh, project uh, directory you can see here so now to program the chip uh, you need to add the file for that uh, you have to click on new source so right click the chip or project uh, click on new source when you click on new source you, uh, it will open new source wizard in the new source wizard you have to select the language by which you will program the uh, our FUGA chip so in this case it is the VHDL module so select the VHDL module and give the file name so the file name I can give I will give mux underscore 8 and I will click on next after this uh, we need to declare uh, like uh, uh, define the port in this case the port is uh, port signals are uh, first one is a uh, select let me select the select signal SCL select and of type it is in it is a type in and data type it is a data type is it is a standard underscore logic underscore vector so select is a day uh, select signal is a data type of standard underscore logic underscore vector which contains uh, uh, which is a representation of three bit signal that is 0 2 msb is a 2 that is select 0 select 1 and select 2 similarly we have other signal other signal is a d0 d1 d2 d3 d4 d5 d6 d7 and d8 that is the input signal to the multiplexers that is a data signal to the multiplexer other than that we have output signal y so, uh, so of type out click on next uh, next button 
finish you can see here the several code has been written the some code has been written by the Xilinx software and the declaration of entity you can see here and other than that declaration of a library then we need to now write a statement in the architecture section between begin and end so I will copy the statement already I have explained the statement to you I will copy the statement so student for the demonstration purpose I have created, I have created a separate project and I have copied the statement as told earlier so you can see here this is the library section followed by entity in the entity we have select signal of type uh, in of data type standard underscore logic underscore vector 2 down to 0 2 down to 0 means uh, select signal can take select signal of type 3 uh, select signal of type 3 bit uh, or select signal contains 3 bits uh, from 0 to 2 that is select 0 select 1 select 2 similarly we have uh, data input signals uh, d0 d1 d2 d3 d4 d5 d6 d7 other than that uh, uh, we have output signal y so after that uh, you can see here uh, architecture declaration and architecture or ar architecture with the followed by architecture name mux under uh, 8 underscore 1 of entity my text is architecture should uh, start with begin followed by process as i told in the previous uh, as i told earlier process should begin with the begin statement inside the process we have defined case statement and i have already explained the case statement so now once this is done you can check the syntax by clicking on synthesize so we will click on synthesize and you can see here our synthesized process run properly without any error that means uh, uh, there is no semantic error and our uh, uh, software code is ready to generate the hardware design or hardware so this is the software code now once this is done uh, the next step is uh, test bed process test bed process is the process where you give the input uh, so normally you can give the input through through waveform or you can uh, write the uh, write the code in uh, stimulus section of VHDL so in our case you will give the input uh, by means of uh, through a form for that you have to right click on your entity that you what you have created here click on the right click on the entity what you have created and click on new source and new source uh, select the option that is a test bench waveform and give the file name once you give the test bench waveform and file name for, dummy, uh, for the demonstration purpose I will give dummy name followed by TB test bench then you have to click on next when you click on next then you will see here like single clock multiple clock and combinational clock so what we have uh, since multiplexer is a combinational uh, logic so we will select combinational other than that if you want to uh, increase the length of the simulation then uh, mention the length in our case we will mention it 1200 nanosecond then click on finish once you, once you click on finish you will get a window where you have to give the input in, uh, in terms of a uh, waveform student you can see now this is the window uh, in this window you can see like uh, select signal can take the value between 0 and uh, like select 0 0 and 2 that is bit 0 bit 1 and bit 2 so select 0 select 1 select 2 and uh, since this select is a control signal it can have 8, eight combinations like 0 0 0 you can see here 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and uh, 7 so here you have to here you have to uh, give the value 0 0 0 0 0 1 I, I have explained this in uh, this this in my last video how to change this value 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 and 1 1 1 after that 0 0 0 and for demonstration purpose when select signal is 0 0 0 I made D 0 is 0 when select signal is 0 0 1 I made D 1 is 1 high when it is uh, 2 I made 
d2 is a 0 d2 is a sorry d2 is a 0 then uh, when it is 3 i made it is 1 that is for ex uh, explanation purpose we can say something like this uh, like So for that purpose, I will take you to the blackboard. So we know multiplexer. We know multiplexer is a uh, eight to one multiplexer contains. Uh, sorry. So eight is to one multiplexer. So let me draw eight is to one multiplexer. So this is D0, D1, D2, D3, D4, D5, D6, D7 and we have output Y0. Similarly we have select 0, select 1 and select 2. So let me write here this is from D0 and D7 and this is select s e l select select 0 and uh, this is select uh, select 1 sorry 2 this is 1 and this is output y and this is 8 is to 1 multiplexer for demonstration purpose uh, i made this d0 is equal to 0 d1 is equal to 1 d2 is 0 d3 is equal to 1 d4 is 0 something like this so Based on the combination 0, 0, 0, D0, 0, 0 will get selected and move to the output. When 0, 0, 1, 1 will be selected, I mean D1 will get selected. What is the value of D1? D1 contains 1, that 1 will be moved to the output. So you can see here, so I made D0 is 0, D1 is equal to 1, D2 is equal, D3 is equal to 1, D4 is equal to 1, sorry D5 is 1, D5 is 1 when the control signal is 1, 0, 1. So now we will see the output of this one. To test the output, uh, to test the output, you have to change the option here. That is variable simulation. Then you have to select process, and here option is there uh, Xilinx IS simulator. In that you have to you, you have option that is called as a simulate variable model. So right click that one, and uh, there is the option run or rerun. Select run or rerun. When you select run or rerun, you, you, you see here the output. So you can use right, right, uh, like uh, uh, add marker. So here, you can see the add marker when it is 0, 0, 0, like uh, 0. But when it is When it is D1, 1, output Y is 1. D, when it is like control signal is, a, see, let me select control signal also here. You can see here control signal 0, 0, 1, D1 is 1, output is 1. Similarly, let me put the add marker here. Here control signal is 0, 1, 1, and uh, Corresponding signal D3 is 1 and output is 1. So, in this way, you can implement 8 is to 1 multiplexer. Thank you.